What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to file share from an Android phone to an iPhone and an iPhone to an Android phone. It's really easy. There's multiple, multiple ways to do them. The ways I'm gonna show you are some of the ways. There's honestly tons and tons of different ways. So if you know another way, continue using it, especially if you like that way, but let's jump into the ways that uh, I generally do it. Um, so the first one, and, and I think the most easy way, and it's also free, completely free, is with an app. Now the app is available on Android and on iPhone and on iPad and Android tablets as well. So if you have one of those other devices, it'll work as well. And it's called Send Anywhere. So go into the Google Play Store or into the Apple App Store and download Send Anywhere. And what's great about this app is that actually there's a desktop app for it too, so it works on, on desktops or, or a Mac uh, if you have a computer. So you can do this on all of those, which is, uh, like I said, fantastic. So what you're gonna do, you'll go, you have send and receive at the bottom, and you can also get history, but and just ultimately, like so let's say we're sending from the Android phone over to the iPhone, all you're gonna do is hit receive on the iPhone, go to send on the Android phone, Find the files, the videos, the pictures, the audio, whatever, the audio files, whatever you're trying to send to the iPhone. So like say I wanna send this and this, these are video files. And then maybe I wanna send some photos, I'll jump over to photos. And then I'll choose some photos that I wanna send. Maybe I wanna choose these three photos. All right, take a step back. These three photos. And I can hit send from here or I can even send some, you know, other files as well, but I'll just say I'm done for now. I'm gonna hit send. So on the iPhone now, at this point, I can do one of two things. If I'm close by, I can tap this. This opens up my QR scanning uh, camera, and I can just put my iPhone over that, scan that QR code, and I can download those files. Otherwise, if you're far away, or even if you're not far away, if you're just right next to each other and you just wanna enter in the numbers, just tap here, 472312. Now before I hit receive, this number is only good for about 10 minutes. Um, so you have 10 minutes to enter that number and then once the file transfer starts, you have basically as much time as you need. Once you're done, just hit receive. And then at that point, it's gonna instantly begin sending the files. You can be on different networks. You can be on the same network. Someone could be on Wi-Fi. Someone can be on LTE or 5G or you can be across the world or right next to each other. It doesn't matter where you are. This app will work. It's completely free. Like I said, it is ad supported. So you will see some ads. The other cool thing about this app is that it'll resume where you left off. Like, so if it, the disconnect, if it got disconnected, if you guys resent those files, it'll take off right where you left off and you can get to them. And uh, it's very, 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 very handy overall. So that's how you can send files to each other, real easy, one way anyway, from uh, Android to iPhone and then vice versa. And it works the same way on both of these devices. So if you wanted to send files on the iPhone side over to Android, just do the exact same things tap on the different categories at the top, choose the files that you wanna send, hit send on the iPhone, and then hit receive on the Android phone, type in the number or scan the QR code, and you're good to go. Now, another great way to share files is through one of the sharing file services, such as uh, uh, Dropbox or Google Drive, or you know some of the, there's a million of them out there, OneDrive. Um, I have G Drive, so if I wanted to share a file or photos or something uh, with others, I can just go into G Drive, I can select the files that I want to share. So like say if I want to share this uh, PDF, I'll tap on that. I'll hit share. And then I can, you know, send this to whoever I want to at this point. So I'm going to send it to myself via email, type a message if I want and hit send. I then get an email on the other side and I can just tap on it and hit you know, Chrome or Drive or whatever, wherever I want to view it. And I can view that file that I sent myself from Android or Apple or vice versa very, very easily. So if you have, you know, multiple files or a file to share and you, you know, it's too big to send via email or uh, text or something like that, this is a quick and easy way to upload it to like one of the sharing file si uh, services like Dropbox or Google Drive and then share it from there and then send the personal link. 
If you're looking to share photos and videos, I love Google Photos. Um, I share photos and videos all the time, multiples, big files, you know, big video files or big uh, amounts of photos, my family and friends, and they, all they do is just click on the link and it sends instantly. So basically what you do is go into Google Photos and this will work with Android or iPhone. So I find the photos in Google Photos where I want to share them. You can just hold on them and then just and after you do that, you can just tap on the ones that you want to share. Hit the little uh, sharing symbol at the top and then you can just hit create link at the bottom. And then from there, you can send it with whatever messaging service you want because it automatically copies that link. So if I just wanted to, um, you know, send it to someone real quick, say I'm going to send it over Facebook Messenger and you see I have a link there. Now I send it to my wife. So all she would have to do is click on that and she can easily without really having to download them because they're already on the server, see those photos and videos really, really quickly and easily. Other than that, other apps that you can do this in would be like, WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, you know, apps like that to easily send, you know, big amounts of videos and, and photos. They might not be completely, you know, HD, but they're going to be good enough quality to get you by so you can see some stuff if you just want the person to see the, the video or the file or the photo in a, in a good, you know, good resolution. Th those will work as well. But uh, ultimately, the ways I showed you can uh, work best for you. So there you guys go. Let me know how you share files with your Android and iPhone friends in the comments down below, and we'll see you guys down the road. Peace.